Hi everybody, I want to welcome you to your Tabata pump workout for today. What we need is a barbell, but if you don't have the right barbell at your disposal, you can use a pair of dumbbells for this workout as well. Now we're going to follow Tabata's method of exercise by creating a short circuit of eight exercises with only 10 seconds rest in between. I hope you guys enjoy this workout. Let's get into it with exercise one. Sumo deadlift with your legs wide and your toes pointing out. Make sure you keep a neutral spine. Pace piston rows with your elbows tucked in by your side and maximum range of motion. Biceps lift with your elbows tucked in by your sides and lifting the bar in vertical motion. Wide, sturdy base. Let's go into some renegade rows. One set on the left and one set on the right. Fly raise from a kneeling position, one set with the left and one set with the right.
overhead triceps extension with a close grip and your elbows tucked in by your ears. Suitcase squat, one set holding the bar with your right hand and another set holding it with your left. Narrow grip push up with your wrists close together and elbows tucked in, maintaining a neutral spine. Alright guys, you've gotten through the first round and discovered your eight exercises for today. We've got three more rounds to go. Let's do this. Sumo deadlift with your legs wide and your toes pointing out. Make sure you keep a neutral spine. Pace piston rows with your elbows tucked in by your side and maximum range of motion. Biceps lift with your elbows tucked in by your sides and lifting the bar in vertical motion.
with a wide sturdy base, let's go into some renegade rows. One set on the left and one set on the right. Fly rays from a kneeling position, one set with the left and one set with the right. Overhead triceps extension with a close grip and your elbows tucked in by your ears. Suitcase squat, one set holding the bar with your right hand and another set holding it with your left. Narrow grip push up with your wrists close together and elbows tucked in, maintaining a neutral spine.
rounds down and two rounds to go, guys. Let's keep up the good work and let's keep training. Sumo deadlift with your legs wide and your toes pointing out. Make sure you keep a neutral spine. Pace piston rows with your elbows tucked in by your side and maximum range of motion. Biceps lift with your elbows tucked in by your sides and lifting the bar in vertical motion. With a wide, sturdy base, let's go into some renegade rows. One set on the left and one set on the right. Fly raise from a kneeling position, one set with the left and one set with the right. Overhead triceps extension with a close grip and your elbows tucked in by your ears.
suitcase squat. One set holding the bar with your right hand and another set holding it with your left. Narrow grip push up with your wrists close together and elbows tucked in, maintaining a neutral spine. You're smashing your workout guys. Three rounds down, we got one more to go. Let's keep going. Sumo deadlift with your legs wide and your toes pointing out. Make sure you keep a neutral spine. Pace piston rows with your elbows tucked in by your side and maximum range of motion. Biceps lift with your elbows tucked in by your sides and lifting the bar in vertical motion. With a wide, sturdy base, let's go into some renegade rows. One set on the left and one set on the right.
slide raise from a kneeling position, one set with the left and one set with the right. Overhead triceps extension with a close grip and your elbows tucked in by your ears. Suitcase squat, one set holding the bar with your right hand and another set holding it with your left. Narrow grip push up with your wrists close together and elbows tucked in, maintaining a neutral spine. Well done for getting through your Tabata workout for today, you guys. Now I'm going to hand things over to Daphne, who's going to work on some static post-workout stretching with you. Start on your hands and knees. Have your hands directly under your shoulders and your knees below your hips. Lift your knees off the ground and press your chest towards your thigh. Try to straighten your legs completely and lower your heels to the floor. You can alternate with bending one knee and pressing the opposite heel into the ground to stretch each leg individually. Ensure your abdominals are engaged and have your shoulders away from your ears. Hold for 30 seconds. Stand upright and bend one leg back, grabbing the top of that foot. 
Bring your foot as close to your butt as possible while keeping your knees close together. Tuck your pelvis and pull your foot back even more for a deepened stretch. Hold onto a wall for balance. Now let's do the quadriceps stretch with the other leg. Start in a high kneeling position. Take a big step forward with your right leg. Shift your weight forward until your right knee is directly over your ankle joint. Draw your abs to tuck your pelvis and feel the stretch in the right front side of your pelvis. Hold for 30 seconds. Now let's repeat the psoas and hip flexor stretch on the other leg. Start in four-point kneeling. Bring your knees further apart from each other until you can't go anymore. Ensure your shins are parallel to each other. To deepen the stretch, bring yourself down onto your forearms. This is quite an intense stretch, so remember to keep breathing. Hold for 30 seconds. Standing hip width apart, clasp your hands together behind your back and extend your arms behind you. Lift your hands to the ceiling to stretch your chest and shoulders. Remember to keep your back straight and shoulders down away from the ears. Take three to five slow deep breaths during the stretch. Standing hip width apart, clasp your hands with your arms straight in front of you. Press your arms away from your body and hollow your chest. Remember to keep your shoulders down. Take three to five slow deep breaths. Try to deepen the stretch with each exhale.
take one arm and extend it across your body. Keeping the arm straight, gently pull your extended arm from above your elbow to deepen the stretch. Remember to draw the shoulders down away from your ears. Now let's do the posterior shoulder stretch using the other arm. Raise your arms straight above you and clasp your hands together with your right thumb on top. Reach your hands as tall as you can and bend your body over to the left. You should feel a stretch along the right side of your body. Remember to keep your shoulders down and your abdominals engaged to support your spine. Repeat on the other side with your left thumb on top, bending over to the right side. Great job, well done for finishing your workout today. Now guys, make sure you click here and subscribe to this channel so that you can get more workouts anytime you like. If you hit the join icon and join us as a member, then you'll get access to days 11 to 30 of every workout series as well. See you soon.